So what if I want to change, say, the margins of my page? You know, right now they're set to normal, but if I head over to the page layout tab, inside the page layout tab, you're going to see that it does exactly that. It gives me a lot of options for my page layout if I were to print this out. One of those, again, is this idea of margins. I can select here, and you'll see that I get a few different options, normal, narrow, moderate. Well, if I say select narrow, you're going to notice that everything kind of spans out a little bit more, and so I have a little bit more control. One of the other things that I can do is you might notice that I've got this tiny, tiny, tiny little square going on right here at the end of my, uh, whatchamacallit, my, my section. Well, if I click on that, I actually pull up another dialog box that gives me this option. So I can now control how I want my margins to be set. So maybe instead I want to, you know, I'm a green person. I don't like to spend, uh, waste too much paper. So I try and use as minimal of a margin as possible. And I can do that here by explicitly going in and saying that the top margin is only a quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch. And as soon as I hit OK, notice how much space is now being kind of limited by you know, quarter of an inch going on here. Versus, say for example, if I had changed, say, the left to one inch, what I'm going to see is right about here, that's where my text is going to begin. What do you know? That's exactly what happens as we play around with our margins.